to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. Uh, I have a very important video for analysis of gold and silver, and the reason is that it is most likely that we are heading. To, um, actually, we are going through an expanded flat pattern, and the expanded flat pattern is deadliest, especially this last wave is deadliest at times, and I think that that's what we are going to go through. We are going to discuss that. Um, in front of us here is gold chart. We will look at silver chart and some of the miners as well. So we can clearly count that we have an impulse wave correction and either impulse wave. We are not sure where the impulse wave corrected. Um, so I have labeled this uh, where the impulse wave completed. So I have labeled this as small wave 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 being a triangle and fifth right over here where the 1 is. So I believe that we have completed the wave right over here. However, I believe that 2 is not complete. Earlier I thought that 2 was complete, but now given the price behavior, it looks to me that two wave 2 is yet not complete. So that's what we are looking at right now. So the 5 wave structure, the previous 5 wave structure completes over here. We can uh, definitely bring it over here to make sure. So we can go on a 4 hourly time frame chart and see uh, where the what what structure I'm talking about, and I'm talking about a flat correction, a zigzag correction, which is a three three, and then a five wave structure downward. So we are expecting a deadly force um, downward. I'm yet not uh, sh confirmed that we are in a bullish move yet. All right, so I'm expecting a solid move. Uh, I haven't seen fundamentals. I think some important news are going to come out. But whatever the fundamentals are, the structure is showing that a lot of people are going to get trapped right over here on the wrong side of the market. And we are expecting to see a sharp move downward. Uh, and it could be actually uh, a little more bearish than we are actually seeing. Or it could find a, a support in here. Other pro problem is if it doesn't find support, then it can come downward and find uh, the support further low. On the left, we have to look at the left, and this is an important area. 21,145 is an important area to find support at in, which also seems to be the wave, uh, smaller sub wave within right over here. Wave 3 was extended, and we can see there's also find a support here. So 21,145 is an important area. The first support is definitely right over here, it's just 2285, and the next one is 21,45. Um, um, if it is an expanded flat, we are going to see absolutely stunning price behavior in a very short period of time. So be aware of it. Let me uh, draw the labeling right over here. We have start of the pattern, 3-wave structure, 3-wave structure followed by a 5-wave structure. Okay, And just do not look at the structure as well because it's going to be a deadly force. We can see an extended uh, wave for extended five wave structure so make sure that labeling is correct and uh, in that case with this happens this will be definitely a definitely a very excellent buying opportunity uh, for gold if this happens and let's have a look at silver we will also discuss miners as well in a bit so similar with silver uh, that shall bring the price right over further down okay that shall bring the prices further down. We can definitely look at the structure uh, on our left side to see what's expected. And here we can see that the first here here is the we already seen two bottoms on the previous structure, and the next one is uh, probably a little low right over here in this area. Okay, we can also use uh, Fibonacci ratios uh, to say where we are. Normally, uh, silo tends to follow the nine divisions, so I would use that, which is not five energy divisions but nine divisions. And we have one, two, three, four, and five. So our structure support is probably around twenty-four dollars uh, and twenty cents. It can actually go to six by nine, which is twenty-two fifty-one. That will be our next target for silo. Let's have a quick look at uh, Newmont. I had some shares of Newmont which I sold uh, today and that was in Canadian TSX all right so uh, there is a possibility that TS that silver uh, I mean Newmont falls all the way further down right over here which is a previous high okay so there is a possibility of that that is a 20% drop in a small period of time so 4264 is an important support area 
all right so keep in mind if it falls it's going to be a definitely excellent buying opportunity let's have a look at gdx quickly and gdxj quickly okay so the structure here's the structure that shall bring the structure back for the down support on the support line right over here previous high which is at 3212 okay and this also kind of fund support if it penetrates that then the further is further down a bit right over here so i am expecting quite a bit of bearish price action in a shorter amount of time gdxj as well let's have a look at gdxj how gdxj is behaving once again a similar structure and so we are expecting uh, this or it can actually come down further this and then go up okay so i hope that i was able to provide some assistance if you see some dangerous sign i'm definitely not a buyer at this point for gdx gdxj or miners and i have a short position on gold as well let's see how things look out wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye